Hi everybody, this is TJ with the Backpack Trader. This is the third video in a series of reconstruction. Actually, I've deconstructed one of my favorite strategies and I am now putting it back together piece by piece in a way to hopefully explain how it works so that you have a clear understanding of what makes this strategy so evergreen and why it continues to work so well throughout the years, regardless of the chart and uh, symbol. Although some symbols are certainly better than others and some charts are better than others, the patterns that exist with price action itself do exist across the board on all charts and all symbols. In the last two videos, I talked about exhaustion levels. These dots identify when buyers and sellers are tired and the balance of power line, the crocodile pit line that tells us who's in charge the price action closing on the lower side of the line, especially followed by tired buyers, tell us that now the sellers are in charge, pulling the buyers into the crocodile pit line. In other words, it's the sellers who are winning this battle. I also pointed out a trade here. This was in a video, a few videos I did prior to these reconstruction videos. And in this video, I want to explain to you why we had a setup below this arrow here. And the best way to describe it and to explain it is for me to make it a little bigger, push it over to the edge right there. So in real time, when this bar closed, now this is a weekly bar. So this is a long, slow moving chart requires very little time to manage, right? Because it's every bar is once a week. You literally need to check this once a week, which is what I like about it. Big trades, we'll get into that in, uh, in another video. But it doesn't matter. This could be a five-minute bar. It could be a tick chart. It could be a momentum bar. It could be a Renko bar. It could be many different kinds of bars. It could be a daily, daily chart, four-hour chart, whatever. They all have unique characteristics but they also share these patterns. All right, so we have buyers who are exhausted, and then we have a red bar closing down below our balance of power line. This is the prerequisite to what could be a really good setup. The next step is we wanna prove that there's still more energy to the downside before we enter into a trade. We call this an entry breakout. Depending on the chart, we usually put it a couple ticks below the low of this red bar. Now in a weekly chart, it's gonna be a bit larger. On a daily chart, a bit smaller. On a five minute chart, smaller still. It's all proportional to the, si to the time of the chart, the time frame of the chart. But basically, if the price can just push a little bit lower, it indicates more energy to the downside. It's not 100% perfect, nothing is, but at some point at the right edge of the chart, we have to make a trading decision and we let the price action itself dictate to us what that trading decision is. Because let's face it, none of us really know anything. We can only guess what's gonna happen next, but, we know, but what we can do is identify patterns that the likelihood of what happens next is predictable with a high degree of accuracy. Not perfect, doesn't always work. It just happens to work more often than not. And that's what we can trade off of. So we put an entry a little bit below this bar. And if the price can come down, it would trigger us into the trade. And then we're in the trade. That's it. Once we're in the trade, we're gonna place our stop right up in here. We might even adjust it a little bit above the spike, but somewhere right up in here where these exhaustion dots are located. And we're gonna put targets down below. And there's a method in calculating what those are to a high degree of accuracy. I'll explain those in another video, okay? But just so you understand, the price has to push below this red bar here, and you know it does because we already saw what happened. So right in here, this trade is short. It would get short here, okay? Obviously, this is hypothetical, but you get the point. 
And then it comes down, comes down, comes down. Somewhere down in here is a target. I actually showed it to you on another video and it happened to be right where this price bar ended was the first target. And then it comes up again. Okay, now there are things that we do to handle and manage this trade. I'll explain that in another video. All right, the, the main thing is in this video, it's all about price action telling us what to do. That's a key point to how and why the strategy works so well. All right, guys, hope you learned something from these three videos. In the next series, I will reconstruct further and build this up and continue to explain how and why this works so well. And then we'll look at a bunch of examples. This is TJ with the Backpack Trader. I hope to see you on the next video.